Hey everybody. Um, you have been spending this week in math um, working on your rounding skills, uh, using rounding to help you solve um, some trickier um, subtraction problems or to check to see if your answers make sense. And today we're going to work a little bit on another way that you can use rounding. And I bet you've seen your parents uh, use rounding this way. So you're going to be doing some grown up stuff. Um, today we're going to meet a young man named uh, Jake. Here he is. Um, he is moving from Denver to San Francisco and his mom says that it's going to take him three days to drive there. So this is another of these slide decks where you're going to fill in all of the green sections. So I'm not going to actually read over this slide deck because I think it's kind of fun and engaging and I think that you'll be able to figure it out. But I'm just going to sl slowly go through and say you're going to fill in this. This is um, the question here is how can you use the scale to help you? This is the scale. So you have to figure out how far apart things are. Um, on the next slide, which pair of cities is the farthest apart? You're going to again use this skill to just kind of take a guess, right? You're going to make an estimate using this scale. So this whole thing is 1,000 miles. So using your best estimation skills. Um, then this slide you're going to read to find out how a couple of kids did that work. And you're gonna notice things on this table. Um, then on the next slide, I think the, uh, I'm not gonna show it to you, but on the next slide, uh, it has some examples of what other people thought. Then there's a do you agree question. Um, asking somebody said lily said that orlando is the farthest city from san francisco uh, do you agree so the way that you read this table is um, sort of like our addition um, table and our multiplication table you look at you look for the city in one column and then you look for the row that you need so in this case we've highlighted san francisco and we're looking for orlando across the top and then you go down and you meet up the numbers. So do you agree that San Francisco is the farthest away from Orlando? Um, you would have to take a look at all these numbers. These are the distances away from all of the cities that are up above. The reason that this one is blank is because up above this square, you can see that San Francisco is here. So really we could put a zero here because San Francisco is zero miles away from San Francisco, right? Zeros go in each one of these dark squares because that's where the two cities match up. So you're gonna be reading this table and answering questions in the green box. The next um, slide is asking you, what is the closest city to San Francisco and how far away is it? Um, you're going to write that in this green box and let's see. Um, so Jake is uh, planning to move about how many miles away is uh, San Francisco from Denver. So use your rounding skills to say about you're going to round to the nearest hundred. And then we just have two more slides where it says it is exactly 15 or uh, 1575 miles from Philadelphia to Denver use rounding strategies to round this number to the nearest 10 the nearest 100 I'm going to make this green right now so that you guys uh, know that that's something that you need to do um, and let's see I think uh, no there's a couple more not much more um here are some examples of rounding and reminder how to round um, you're going to put an answer here round this number to the nearest 10 and then the next slide is asking you to round that same number to the nearest 100 and in the blue box it gives you some ideas about how or why you would round that number to the number they've chosen and then finally 
you're going to round the distance that you're using these distances to the nearest 10 and to the nearest 100. Here we're looking again at a number line. You don't actually have to do anything on this, but you do need to read it and think about it. Same for this. This one's about hundreds place. This is where 328 falls on the number line. It is between 300 and 400, but it is closer to 300. So 328 is rounded to the nearest 100 is 300. Um, and then I have just two more slides. They're one page in your student book. You can do student book page 93 or you can work on slides 17 and 18. You are going to estimate in the first box and figure out exactly in the second box these problems. Same for this problem here. First you're going to estimate how many miles and second you're going to figure out exactly how many miles you need to travel. And that's it. So hopefully this is not too much of another friendly reminder that if you are um, stressed out or if you are working more than an hour, uh, then you should stop and let me know. Do not spend hours and hours and hours on this. Um, I looked at it and thought most of you could do this in an hour. If you're struggling with it, then just stop, okay? But do your very best. Um, in that hour, and uh, we'll talk about it later.